Welcome back to the Dr. G Aspie Show. I'm Dr. G, Frank Gaskell, and I can't believe who I'm standing here right next to. It's Barbara Colorado. She's the author of The Bully, The Bullied, and The Bystander, and I can't believe you're standing here. This is so great. I love it. I so, love it. Thank you. Welcome. It's such a playful place. <laughs> oh, go ahead. And we need to be playful. Absolutely honored for you to be here. Um, you, your work is prolific. I think I pretty much have your book memorized, and I use your book in my social skills groups and with my parenting groups, and it's just so cool to, to be here with you. And uh, I wanted to do a little quick shout out and help for some of my families in terms of what do you do as a parent when your child is being bullied? Uh, and, and kids with Asperger's are at high risk for being targeted by their peers um, for being different. Um, kids can be targeted for any reason, short, tall, developed early, developed late, Glasses. Uh, glasses. <laughs> uh, being different on any kind of spectrum. You can be targeted because you're beautiful, you know, and never been an issue for me. So, um, But there are some things we make mistakes when we're uh, uh, trying to help our kid during this horrible, horrible time. Because bullying's not normal, natural, or necessary. Hmm. Um, it's a mean and cruel behavior that is a learned behavior. Uh, so if your child's targeted, some things not to do. Don't minimize, rationalize, or try to explain it away. Minimize, rationalize, or try to explain it away. Yeah, because we might be inclined to say, oh, he didn't really mean that, or you might have missed that cue, because kids with Asperger's sometimes miss social cues. Mm -hmm. um, so don't minimize, rationalize, explain it away. Don't rush in to solve it. Oh, you want to. You want to wring the bully's neck, any bystander, don't let it happen. And the parents. But you'll, yes, <laughs> uh, and you'll uh, only make it worse, and your kid will quit talking about it. Um, don't tell the kid uh, to avoid or ignore. Mm -hmm. uh, first of all, you can't ignore it. it. It beats you up internally then. And to avoid them, the bullies will find your kid, and then he's lost again. Right. Um, and don't tell the kid to fight back, it's not a fight. Bullying is not about a conflict. It's one or more kids who knew that there was an imbalance of power and knew they could get your kid. And often high-status social bullies will do it and plead that they didn't mean it, they were just joking, and they are believed, not your child. Mm -hmm. um, so don't tell them to fight back. Defend yourself. I mean, somebody coming at you physically, you want to teach them some good defense moves. Mm -hmm. um, and then don't confront the bully or the bully's parents alone. It tends to run in the family. Right. So what do you do? First thing you want to say to your child who's been targeted is, I hear you. I'm here for you. I believe you. Bullies want your kid not to be believed. Mm -hmm. uh, and so you have to say, I believe you. The whole pain in their body speak truth. Um, you and can see it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe you. You're not in this alone. Bullies try to isolate a kid, make them feel like they're a loner and a loser, no good. You have to say, um, I'm here for you. Mm -hmm. The next thing you want to say, it's not your fault. It's the bully's issue. I don't care if your kid's weird, dorky, odd, strange, has <laughs> ADHD, Asperger's, misses social cues. Nothing ever justifies me. Right. Nothing. Um, so I want to say it's their problem, not yours. I also want to say to a kid, there are things you can do. And we need to empower uh, kids who have been targeted. Uh, and there's some wonderful tools today. Uh, giving kids assertive lines, not aggressive or passive. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't want them to be passive. Please stop. That hurts. And I hear that so often in anti-bullying programs. Just ask the bully to stop. <laughs> right. And don't tell them it hurts because they love it. Mm -hmm. Gives Bullies them power. get pleasure from your pain. Mm -hmm. Bullying is about getting pleasure from somebody else's pain. So uh, you don't want an aggressive response. Your kid will get his clock cleaned. But an assertive comment would be something like, that was mean, that was cruel, I don't need this, I'm out of here. Giving kids the opportunity to get themselves out of a situation. Uh, another comment, especially for older kids who have... Uh, uh, the ability to nuance this one, it, and kids with Asperger's would, um, is to say that comment was beneath both of us. <laughs> oh, that's you know, the kids go on, mm. <laughs> what? But it's a possibility. <laughs> um, the next th thing you want to say to kids is there are people you can report to. One of them's mm -hmm. us, and we need to find an advocate in the school that will talk to that child mm -hmm. as well. So empowering kids, helping them feel hurt, that they have options, they can go to an adult and ask for help. A lot of parents, have, well, some parents and some kids are like, I can't go to an adult. It'll, it'll make me look weak. It'll, I'll, I'll get, people will tell on me. 
What, what do you say Well, to there are seven very common reasons kids will not tell us they've been targeted. So that's why they have to be believed when they come to us with all that mm -hmm. pain. But one of the reasons they're ashamed. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Most targeted kids are caring, sensitive human beings who would never do that to mm -hmm. another human being. And so they can't figure it out. And they're targeted for something they can't change. Right. Um, and so they often feel ashamed about it. So they're going after who they are. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's the integral to their whole being. Um, they also are afraid of retaliation because bullies threaten. Mm -hmm. And they take that threat very seriously. Because bullies and their henchmen outnumber that targeted kid or uh, are bigger or stronger or more powerful socially. Right. Which is a tremendous thing that we often fail as adults to recognize. They also uh, don't think anyone can help them because we often have policies in our schools that say if we don't see it, we're not going to deal with it. Well, right. bullying tends to happen under the radar of adults. Mm -hmm. and we probably won't see it unless we're alerted to it and we can become very aware that it's going on. They also don't think anyone uh, will help them because when they report it, just like we told them to, people say interesting things like walk down another hallway, find another place to eat if you don't like what's going on in the lunchroom, avoid the bully. And we know how that works out. Right. Um, or ignore. Uh, they also uh, have learned at a very young age that this is part of the norm because we taught them that. Oh, boys will be boys. Girls just want to be mean. That's just part of being in middle it. school. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the last is um, they've learned at a very young age that ratting on their peers is not cool. So you put all that together, the chances of your kid, first of all, even telling you is slim. Mm -hmm. And if they do, we have to be very proactive. But even if they don't tell us, look at the signs. Oh, yes. Is he doing something out of the norm? Always liked to go to school, didn't want to go to school. Mm -hmm. Torn and missing, missing clothing with a lousy excuse for it. There was one a boy whose um, mother found out he was being targeted, never said a word to, to his mom until he went to be picked up from school. And he had left his jacket uh, in his locker. And so he, uh, his mom said, run, get it. And there was a group of kids in the front of the building. He walked all the way around the back oh. to go get his coat. And she said, why? He said, it's just better that way. And when she could finally convince him it's OK to talk to me about it, these kids would mock him, pinch him, hit him, uh, hit him in the groin, and be very hurtful um, when no adult was looking. Mm -hmm. And they would manage to crowd around to cover it up as well. And any time he had reported at school, he wasn't believed. So he just kind of was doing it in survival mode. Mm -hmm. So we have to watch for that kind of thing. Um, sullen and upset after a phone call or after being online are right. signs. Um, a precipitous drop in grades, but I would caution you, with kids with Asperger's, it also may be that their grades have <laughs> actually shot up. Right. Because this is the only place I feel. That's where they have power and control. Yeah. That's that good insight. Kind of, I never really yeah. thought of that. That makes yeah. a lot of sense. But we often say, well, his grades didn't drop, so it must not be affecting him. No, it's his only mm -hmm. mode of operating. And we have to be very cautious that schools don't do what was done to one boy that I knew. Um, he, his lunch was spit in. The kids kept spitting mm -hmm. in his lunch. So the, the counselors had him eat lunch with the counselors. So he once again was isolated. Right. And I said, what are you doing with the kids who are spitting his lunch? He's yeah. the one, they're the ones that should be eating with the counselor. <laughs> That's right. um, not the kid <laughs> whose lunch was spit in. I went, what are we doing here? Mm -hmm. He shouldn't be the one that has it leaving class early. Uh, she shouldn't be the one that has to have an escort down the hallway. Mm -hmm. We should be escorting those girls who are being mean and cruel to make sure they're not being mean and cruel. That's right. So we have to look at being very so flip -flop much. Flip-flop the way you look at it. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Because it, again, it's not normal, it's not natural, it's not mm -hmm. necessary. And kids are getting pleasure from the pain they're inflicting. Mm -hmm. And that's not healthy for them either. But I'm mo far more concerned about the kid who's being targeted. Absolutely. I want to rewrite the script for all three characters. You know, there are three, the bully, the bullied, and those not so innocent bystanders mm -hmm. who either cheer the bully on, join in, turn a blind eye, or are afraid to step in. All of them contribute to this culture of mean that this young child is experiencing, um, and there's no excuse for that. None. You're amazing. Oh, I have a good time doing this, can you tell? I'll tell you. And I'm passionate about uh, stopping bullying with kids who, uh, because they are different in mm -hmm. some way and often very talented and bright, and we uh, 
overlook that and, and uh, dismiss the complaints they make. That it's critical that we get on top of this. Absolutely. Wow. Good gracious. Well, thank you so much for being on pleasure. the show. She's, you're amazing. The Bully, the Bully, the Bystander by Barbara Coloroso. She's a, an amazing person. You find out more about her uh, on the website kidsareworthit.com. There are a lot of amazing resources there. You can find out more information about her other writings and speaking engagements, all kinds of stuff. Uh, cannot thank you enough for being it's on the show. It's a pleasure. It's just a joy to be here. Thanks. Thanks. Everybody, I'm Dr. G. You can follow me on Twitter at Dr. F. Gaskill and find out more online at southeastpsych.com. And don't forget, kidsareworthit.com. I'm Dr. G, where Asperger's is awesome.